Here I am in Kazakhstan on the 8th of November 2013. I was here in June. What a difference in contrast. You've got the leaves just coming off the trees and uh, what we have here is the walkway that just uh, went straight through and all these berries just very much frozen and um, the temperature out there is at the present time is about zero degrees and it's climbed up to about five notches to five degrees and the nighttime temperature is going to fall roughly about minus eight and thereafter uh, expected snowfalls of some flurries this night yeah so interesting um, the idea is to go and see the Russian opera or the Kyrgyz opera at the opera house this evening it's a Friday so there might be some sort of activity we we'll to check the ticket for this evening what a difference I was wearing a t-shirt and now a hybrid jacket with some insulation underneath that jacket just to keep me slightly warm as you can see there okay there's a corner shop Turkish and all sorts of different dishes are being served there and um, so I'm going to see if the whole Russian how are you doing you all right he's giving me a little smile and all that lovely jubbly and uh, yeah we've got some uh, Turkish kebab place is that Turkish kebab is that right oh uh, this is Ali bookmakers at uh, bookmakers yes oh right 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 okay where are you from huh where are you from I'm from Kazakhstan and you yes, I bet. oh really me too your country? Um, from this world. What? From this world. You know this world? It? It's around the world. Uh, you traveling? Yeah. Yeah. And yourself? Well, I'm... Are you from Almaty? Uh, no, I'm from Shibkent. Oh, oh Sh Shibkent? Shibkent. Southeast. Southwest. South. Southwest. Southwest. South of Kazakhstan? Yeah. As in, south of Almaty? It's third city. No, Almaty is... Uh, in, the, in the east? East? In the east. East south. Southeast? Southeast. Okay. Uh, uh, Shimkent is south. Shim Shimkent is south, straight yes, south. Yes. Oh, okay. On the border with Kyrgyzstan? No, Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, Samarkand? Yes, yes, yes. Near Samarkand? Yes, yes. There's a Russian phone. Right. Uh, yeah, it's a Kazakh phone booth. Right. There we go. There's a monument to celebrate part of the independence. There is no tourist. It's, even if there was any tourist, there would only be in a hotel. So, uh, to learn, to understand, to embrace, to inspire, all you have to do is get your backside out of that hotel room and explore it. Yet, these days, most of the people are exploring using the internet, free Wi-Fi, on an iPad, on an iPhone, on a tablet, on a computer, at the business center. So, even if you've come this far, all you would do is simply sit in a hotel, cafe, in a bar, watching football, rugby, and all types of sports that are featured on the other side of the planet and the heritage, the architecture, the culture, the most amazing 
a national monuments like this one here are being forgotten and then you would say I have traveled to that place and you come back depressed not smiling confused learn very little about that city or that nation or those people yeah what can I say I can say very little about how the world and the people are behaving today there's a beautiful side of this amazing land here in our mountain on a winter or beginning of the winter season boutique a Kazakh costumes and Kazakh artifacts that serves you some magazines daily newspapers and knickknacks of things like cigarettes more importantly been sold in these little kiosks which is in the past it used to be one of those traditions you see yes, okay, having uh, having it's a tradition of what do you call the uh, it's not traditional but it's uh, uh, it's uh, a lot of teenager eat, eat, eating it's a Turkish it, hot dog oh it's a Turkish but, hot dog but yes. it's in yeah. but is it is that kebab no, like it's kebab. Yes, kebab, donut kebab. Donut kebab, but yes. I've never so, seen it this like. like. Do, do, never. No. Uh, it's very usual. Uh, where where'd you get it? In, uh, in, in, in this, this shop? This shop. Yes, yeah. yes, in this shop. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. So here are some young, very handsome looking young Kazakh men. Kazakh, yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. And having a donut kebab, but in a wrap. Uh, in a wrap. Yes. That's a wrap, yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you, gentlemen. Hey. It's hey. a nice yeah. little park here. As you can see, pretty interesting, eh? Yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, well, their, their debut, debut, the Korean buses, it still looks like the old Russian style. But their impressive, I should say, impressive statue. Impressive stature of this. Uh, gentleman on the print yeah I think that's one of the this is a Russian theater here and uh, it looks as if the opera or Russian ballet is performed here and, uh, this evening the Kazakhstan's um, central post office it seems and uh, yeah, I'm just going to go and see this little post office. It's got the clock tower quarter to four, as you can see, in the afternoon on Friday. And that's uh, a traditional Russian transporter. I love this stuff. Um, yeah, what a way of uh, heritage and culture that is. These are all fading away with some uh, modern cars have been delivered. Into this a country. central post office in Kazakhstan. And uh, I've just been in there. After all, about three, four doors I had to go through, managed to get in to the um, right place. So, uh, got the stamps done. You all would come on its way. To buy comfort travel. Today is it Comfort Comfort Travel? Now this is the uh, place. It's a building. It's the old and very traditional building. Amazing amount of structural engineering here. Uh, look at the the brickwork that's gone in. This brickwork has been reinforced there. It's amazing. These things have stood here for a very long time. Sturdy building, sturdy and solid, I should say. Uh, great Russian engineering in the old days, I should, I should imagine, uh, what would have gone into construct these buildings.